In the years leading up to Confederation, Cartier was a dominant figure in the politics of Canada East as a leader of the Parti Blue. In 1838, he returned to Montreal after his year in exile for his role in anti-government rebellion. Cartier had several reasons for supporting Confederation, notably his fear of American expansion. He officially entered politics in 1848. In 1848, during his long career, he promoted the establishment of the Civil Code as a formal law of Canada East. He also promoted the introduction of primary education in the province. He died in London, England on May 20th, 1873. In the years leading up to Confederation, Cartier and his long block of supporters from Canada East allied with Macdonald's smaller cohort of Con conservatives from Canada West to create political deadlock in the province of Canada. They finally convinced George Brown and his supporters to join the Great Coalition and work toward a wider union of the provinces of British North America. In the conferences that follow, Cartier's goal was to ensure that Canada led the Canadian case for great confederation of all colonial provinces, inspiring the maritime delegates with the commitment to build the intercolonial railway. At the Quebec conference, Cartier argued with the creation of the new political nationality and denounced rogue leader A.A. A. Dorian's connection that French Canada would be better off joining the states, United States by stating that French interests could be preserved under the proposed confederation.